bit of rain here and there. Join me, Adam Fleming. And me, Chris Mason, for our podcast, Newscast. As we tear through the biggest news headlines of the day. Yeah, we're not shutting down the whole economy, obviously, again, so it's nothing like what we saw during the pandemic. We also have loads of special guests joining the podcast. To help us understand what's really going on. And there's no doubt about the constant media headlines have been driving people to think more about their finances. Go behind the headline hype with our podcast every weekday. Newscast. Listen on BBC Sounds. Today at 5.30, the drug that could be game-changing in the fight against Alzheimer's. Scientists say trials show it can slow the progression of early-stage Alzheimer's, giving hope to millions. This is so exciting because now we're getting results, the first results that are indicating that the drug is successfully treating the underlying cause. We'll be answering your questions about when it's available and who might get it, also on the programme. The late Queen's lady-in-waiting, Lady Susan Hussey, a member of the Buckingham Palace household for 60 years, resigns after repeatedly asking a black charity boss where she was really from at an event yesterday. Around 25,000 ambulance workers vote to strike in parts of England and Wales, possibly before Christmas, over pay and conditions. The day after the night before, England stretch out after their victory over Wales. Next up is Senegal. Coming up on Sports Day at half past six on the BBC News Channel, we'll look ahead to England's first test series in Pakistan for 17 years, but the first test might have to be delayed because of sickness. Good evening. For the first time, scientists have found a drug that slows the progression of early-stage Alzheimer's disease. It's called lecanemab, and it is being hailed as a breakthrough. It does have potential serious side effects, but scientists believe it may herald a new era of treatment, bringing hope to tens of millions of people around the world. Around one million people are thought to be living with dementia in the UK, and Alzheimer's affects about 60% of them. It gradually destroys key areas of the brain involved in memory and understanding. This new drug, which won't be available until it gains approval from medicine regulators, will bring hope to many. Here's our medical editor, Fergus Walsh. Yeah. Dementia is the most feared condition among older people. But Mavis Gwynn, who's 80...